How's it going guys and welcome back to another Creativeverse video. In this video we're going to be doing a little bit of science, specifically on the subject of health regeneration, damage over time, and uh, which negates which in what situations. This topic was uh, brought up by a discussion over on the Creator Crew community world where Tashlan was talking to me about the, the different rates at which different things hurt you and I thought it'd be fun to do a couple of tests on it. Um, I had previously tested ice, uh, yeah, I, like frost damage versus mineral water. And uh, basically, in this game, there are four main ways of getting health regeneration. You've got mineral water right here. Just by sitting in, you get an infinite um, health regen as long as you're in there. And you've got health potions, which give you two minutes, healing beacons over here, which give you infinite as long as you're pretty close to them. Almost touching, in fact. And um, one, one thing I don't know is, do you get... One thing I'm going to test right now is, do I get... If I can turn it sideways, does the beam confer regeneration? Because I've never actually used these things. No, it doesn't. So yeah, you have to be right next to them. Um, and mushrooms. There's three different kinds of mushrooms. But all of these things, the mushrooms, the healing potions, the beacon, and the mineral water, all heal you at exactly the same rate. That's 20 health per second. In the case of mushrooms that last for 15 seconds, that comes out to 300 health. There is one little um, irregular glitch I notice with mushrooms. Every now and then, it won't be able to apply the last second of health regen properly, so sometimes you'll get 280 health instead. But most of the time you'll get 300 of them so uh the question remains what rate do different things damage you i've shown the ice versus mineral water in a previous video in the thousand subscriber um build video but i'm gonna show it again briefly as you can see i've got a load of different um extreme environment builds here i'm gonna show it again for people who didn't see that and for the sake of thoroughness because this is a science video after all so you can see this uh drops me down to eight degrees and all i have to do now is be very patient and sit here until i get very very cold so uh read any good books lately okay then okay so i'm getting nice and frost bitten here so let's use one of these health potions and all of a sudden you can see that I'm no longer losing health but I'm not gaining it either. So from the frost I lose 20 health per second, from the regen potion I gain 20 health per second. So we end up with a net result of zero loss, zero gain. So let's move out of that for a second. We should start getting our health back and we've got a minute 30 on this potion so i'm pretty certain that jumping in the corrupted water here is going to hurt me more than this potion can handle but let's see how much more shall we let's jump in and this uh, okay this is an interesting result because i've gone down by 20 health and then maintained 20 health that's an interesting result I come out, I'll get that back, and I hop back in. That is very interesting. Uh, it must damage me at the same speed then. Okay, cool. So um, the corruption water actually also damages you at 20 health a second. Um, so I was, I, was, I was really expecting that to damage more. So what we should do now is do one of the other weighty tasks and get ourselves nice and corrupted here and see if this one damages me at 20. I think it's most likely to damage me at 20 and equalize, but I want to get it um, proven here so that we've got some actual data to work with. So guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're getting hurt by the corruption now but notice it is going down at 20 health per second so if we use this potion 
Interesting. It won't let me use the potion. I think that's a glitch, though. But I can use the mushroom. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch, because I've been getting that of mushrooms, too, sometimes, where when I try to use them under certain circumstances, it won't let me. So I'm pretty sure that is unintended behavior. And if I put the healing beacon down now, we will see that... Oh, the healing beacon actually seems to um, counteract... Oh, no, okay, it... it it, um, I thought it was counteracting the corruption there, but what it did is it, of course, it purified the corruption, yeah. So, so yeah, the corruption damage is equaled by, uh, just normal, kind of, one-shot regen. Don't need to have multiple sources. What do I have to do to make you start giving me that regen again? Well, that's okay, because we can use the mushrooms or the... Beacon, or in fact, even some water if we need to. It doesn't actually matter. So let's sit here. I'll just uh, put these down to give me back some health. And yeah, another thing is all of these different um, sources of health regen can in fact stack. You can't have more than one red mushroom active at once, but you can have a red mushroom, a brown mushroom, a glowing mushroom, a beacon, a health regen potion and be in some mineral water all at the same time and you will get all of those um, um health effects that would be six health effects you'd be getting 120 health a second um of course it's gonna be pretty difficult to arrange all of the to be in all of those effects at once but it is possible and they do stack you just can't have um more than one of the others uh, you can't have more than one health regen potion. You know, you can't have more than one mushroom. If I'm just going to show now because I want to make sure. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure that, yep, you can't have more than one healing beacon either. So now it's time for me to uh, get burning <laughs> in this lovely little sauna I've got um, here for me. And we'll see what this one does. See you in a minute. Okay, I should be about to start suffering burning damage any moment now. I don't know if it will turn up in the video, but you can see a white line at the bottom of the um, little gauge there. And as that goes away, that is the gauge filling up the last couple of pixels. And now it's entirely visibly full, so let's see any minute now <laughs> I mean, this is this has taken quite a long time it's been oh finally it has been about an actual half hour okay so this is doing um quite a lot of damage at once it's doing 50 so even with two regens i'm still taking um 10 a second so I put the healing beacon here now. Again, I'll gain in 10 seconds. So what you need to survive magma, it looks like, is healing from three different regeneration sources at the same time. Because as they do 20, it takes away 50. Okay, cool. So that was that was um good to learn. I'm just going to sit next to this beacon now until I get all of my health back. And I'm going to hop in this lava here to see how much that takes away per second. Well, what I say by this lava here is this lava I'm about to place here because um, after a little while after I place it, it will in fact turn into hardened lava. So I don't want to place it um, and just leave it sitting there. So let's hop in. And that seem that took away 50 at least to start with. So, while I can't get it to remain magma out here very well, and in fact, what you'll see is it will even turn into hardened lava in here, I believe. At least so far as I'm aware. But it seems to be staying. Okay. okay. It's... Yeah, okay, there we go. See, it goes away. So, for this one... For this one, I'm going to be taking a little journey down in to my cave i did not think it was going to be possible but i wanted to try to see if i could get uh magma to stay 
um, alive outside of its natural environment, but I think it just isn't hot enough out here. I think, I'm not sure if the biome itself has a ambient background increase in temperature, or if it's entirely dependent on the blocks that are around it. It could be either, because there's a lot of heat generating blocks down there, and that could be the case, but it could also be that biome temperature is um, blocks plus an ambient uh, temperature. So, it's very difficult to test that without placing a lot of blocks. Okay, so let's just get my health back. And come down here. Um, find some magma. I should probably... Okay, so let's see. If I just... It's way best if I pull some away like this so that we end up Ooh, I was kind of hoping, yeah, for something like that. I want a little blade of magma that I can just walk into. Now, let's just step into that. And, okay, that's 50 a second as um, again. So, if what well, with these two, for example, it should be taking off 10. Okay, yeah, see, look, while we're in, it's taking off 10. So, that's 50 sec um, per second, just like the... Um, temperature damage version so for that likewise you'll need regeneration from three separate um health regen sources doesn't really matter which ones just three different sources so they stack together and now i believe there are only a few small things left to test there are two creatures in this game which can poison you and they are found in the swampy biomes. So we're going to go over to them. And I'm going to get stung by some things to see how much damage they do. Back in a minute. Okay, so here we are over in the swamplands next to a small build I did for the release of the haunted block set. This is the biome where... The Swamplands version of a Leafy, whose name I cannot recall right now, but these are them. And the Feral Pigsies appear, and they both have a poison effect. So what we're going to be doing is learning what that does. Now, I'm going to try and do this on Peaceful so I can not be bothered by other things. So let's hit this guy. If he hits me, I kill him, and I've got this much time left. Okay, so this does... 10 health a second so even a humble mushroom will like even a single um like health regen will still outdo it and you'll end up getting your health back okay cool so onwards oh we're getting normal leafies and autumn leafy i'm oh he's he wandered down from here okay that was that was weird for a second now let's try you mr feral pixie hit me come on I need you to give me the poison effect. I have had it off you before, so I know that you do it. Come on, P Mr. Pigsy. Come on. Let's get some health back. There we go. He's given me the poison effect. Okay. So... I am gaining. This is a bit difficult because I've got some health regen active. Okay. Yeah, that was doing the same. I was gaining 30 when I had two regens and 10 when I had one. So he's taking off 10 health per second as well. So I, I'd heard some people saying that um, the Feral Pigsy does more damage with his poison than the leafy guy does but it looks like it's actually exactly the same the mossy leafy that is but um just to make it more clear because that was a little bit messy i'm going to find this guy and see if i can get him to hurt me come on poison me you know you can that's more like it let's run away from him so you can see I've got one regen active and I'm gaining 10 health a second. That means he's taking 10 health off me a second. So yeah, he does the same amount of damage as the Mossy Leafy and exact 
for the same amount of time as well. So uh, some people seem to have a slight misconception about that one, but that's what these kinds of things are for, to do the science and find out where things actually lie. So that is every uh, damage over time that I can think of in the game. And it looks like most of them, barring lava, are 20 a second. And Well, barring lava and um, these two creatures, with lava being 50 a second and these creatures being 10 a second. So most things you can survive with just one source of health regen. Uh, the lava, you need three. And these guys, you can better than survive with just one. You'll still be able to recover. So that's uh, health regeneration and damage over time. That's the science on it. Uh, I, I hope that more things come out and I'll be able to do more testing. But for now, that is everything I think that we can uh, need to know about it. Thanks, Tashlan, for uh, giving me the information that inspired me to do this. <laughs> um, it's been it's been interesting. I, I it was kind of interesting that I took it took so long for me to get warm with the hardened lava. That was uh, unfortunate, but yeah. That is uh, all the data I think I need to get. So, one thing I'll say is that I might end up doing some more of these science videos when I find things to do. I did this one as not a part of my main Let's Play because it's not about building. So let me know if I do more, if they, they should go um, in my main Let's Play or as a separate thing like I'm doing now. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. See you later!